I'm Elaine Ma and I'm a director with Intel Canada. Intel Family Day is an opportunity for parents and kids to try firsthand the latest technologies and innovations that are out there. It is an opportunity for kids to be inspired and engaged and think about ways that they can innovate for the future. I think it's important to teach kids to be makers because it helps them move along the spectrum from being consumers to creators. So instead of just on an everyday basis consuming you know, the technologies that are handed to them, they're actually able to make an impact in the world and solve real problems that matter. It's very awesome to be able to know that you can make things. In 20 years, we will be the makers that aren't kids anymore. The kids need to be taught about making, and it's really fun, actually. I have been incredibly impressed with Intel and our work together and also the initiatives that they're doing in the maker movement with wearables and that type of thing. Um, so I think it's great what Intel's doing, especially in the area of education. Hop Hop Factory is a creative agency that specializes in 3D printing. Intel has given us a platform to advertise our workshops, which is fantastic. With 3D printing, it's really about like satiating uh, people's curiosities because they've seen it on TV, they've seen it on YouTube, but they've never seen it on, in person. So it's this opportunity to really get up and close and, and personal with the technology. Yeah, my name's Ryland Grayston, and I am the inventor of the world's first $100 3D printer. A 3D printer is sort of like an anything machine. The key motivation behind Peachy Printer is liberating people's creativity with a tool that they can change. I love the idea of giving people a tool where they can do anything and having them realize that their creativity matters and is valuable in this world. We start to open up to a wider audience, including more and more. My name is Massimo Banzi. I'm the co-founder of this project called Arduino. It's an uh, open source computer. The objective is to make the Internet of Things into uh, something where everybody can participate. So anybody can kind of develop their own Internet of Things application without being a programmer, without being an engineer. It's interesting to see that uh, Intel kind of figured out that this maker world was, maker community was, uh, was an interesting place to be. So we, we worked together a little bit for which Intel designed a new processor which allows this board to use the Arduino accessories. There's a lot of room for innovation, there's a lot of room for creating curriculums for children to learn about this device, so there's, there's a lot that we can do now that we have the hardware in our hands. The current state of Internet of Things is that we're on basically like day one, and all wearables, because they're on our body, have the ability to gather unique information, intimate information about ourselves. The Mayo allows people to interact with computers in a more natural way. Uh, so you don't have to swipe on a touch screen, you can actually just move your arm and swipe it back and forth. The idea for the Mayo um, really started um, when we wanted to interact more with wearable computers. Uh, and we figured, you know, we could have something that's hidden under your clothing, that you can use natural interactions and hand gestures to use it, uh, makes it so much more easy. What SOMO does is generate sound through body movement. It's a wearable device for dancers to be able to create their own soundscape as they perform. Intel's role as a thought leader is more than just our traditional processor business. This is about helping to drive innovation in the future wherever the technology may take us. And so that's really what we're about, is that ongoing innovation, seeing what's around the corner and um, making it possible. That's really what's of most value to us. <laughs>